Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with trusted locations and macro enabled workbooks. Uh, so up here when I open up a .xlsm file instead of a normal .xlsx file or .xls I'll see this uh, up in my ribbon it says enable content because I opened a macro enabled workbook and if you want to use the macro uh, in this workbook you have to enable the content. Uh, so I could show you something about trusted locations, you go to file options, you go to trust center, trust center settings, and if you go to macro settings, I always make sure that the setting is set, so I always pick disable VBA macros with notification, which is this, because you don't want macros executing when you open up a macro workbook without you, without your approval. Uh, so basically, I always have this setting set, so you have to choose to enable the content Otherwise, you can have a workbook open event that will automatically execute code when you open up a workbook, and it's always important to have this setting set. So this applies to Access Databases and also to Microsoft Outlook. So in order to make this even more useful is Trusted Locations. So over here, you can add a location, and I'm just going to add in the location of where this workbook is currently saved, the folder path. So I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to press OK and add it up here and I'm going to press OK again or else it won't save it so I'm going to press OK and you can double check that your path is still here so now when I open up this file it'll actually not have this here anymore because I'm now opening up this workbook from a trusted location um, so any workbooks that you save within this file folder path any any work macro enabled workbooks in this folder path won't have this uh, annoying thing where you have to enable the macro so you can actually use your macro files faster without having to uh, kind of just be stuck behind a wall and have no idea what's going on. So if you go up here and you press options and trust center, trust center settings and trusted locations, you could also enable allow trusted locations on my network which allows you to trust a particular folder up here as long as it's uh, in your trusted locations also while it's on a shared network drive so you could trust a location uh, a folder path on a particular shared network drive and you could open up macros without having the to enable the content and only files that are saved in that folder will work like that so thanks for watching my video and